Hey there, Casey Gray here from The Conscious Builder, and on this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between a passive house and a certified passive house. Here at The Conscious Builder, we have obviously carved out a little niche for ourselves, and it all started with our first certified passive house here in Ottawa. And from that home, my team and I learned a ton, and we now carry that knowledge into all of our projects, whether it's a passive house or not. But what is the difference between a passive house and a certified passive house? And I say that because I see a lot out there with people who are claiming that they have built passive houses. I'll start by saying this. Passive house is one of the most rigorous building standards in the world. It is actually a certification. It is not just a concept. And just because the home takes into account passive heat, for example, from the sun, does not necessarily make it a certified passive house. There is a big difference. So there's actually two certifications you can get. You can certify through PHI or you can certify through PHI US FIAS for short. Where we live here in Ottawa, to get certification for our first passive house, here are some of the specs that we had to hit. We had to have R73 and a half walls. We had to have R100 plus in our attic. Uh, I think it might've been R120 actually. We had R30 below our slab. We also had to hit the air tightness of 0.6 ACH. And our windows were different depending on the direction that they were facing and how large they were. So we had different coatings applied to the, and, uh, to the glazing and we also had different gases in between the panes of glass. The size of our overhangs were also designed to work with the location of the home. We actually pulled our overhangs back from eight feet to six feet. And the HVAC is obviously a big part of the project consideration. So even with all that plus more, we were able to get PHI, but not FIAS. And the reason was because the distance of the hot water tank from the furthest bathroom in the home. Um, so yes, it is that rigorous. So what's important to note is that our home was positioned perfectly. We bought the lot because we could angle the home to have the back of the home facing south. If we were to take that house, for example, and stick it across the street on the other side, that house would not have got certified. It would not have been a certified passive house. And we'd have all those windows facing north, which is the opposite of what we want, obviously. So. That is basically what provoked this video. There is no such thing as a pre-designed certified house unless, I should say pre-designed certified passive house, unless that home has been modeled for the worst situation. And if it was designed that way, that would obviously be a waste of time, money and materials when building it. And in addition to this, it's not just the design that makes it passive, it's how it's built. It needs to be built properly to get that air tightness, for example. And finally, uh, this is actually gonna add about 10 to $15,000 of job costs to the project if you actually want to get a certification and prove that it's been built properly, which is part of the, the certification process. So since our first, first home, we have been involved with three other certified passive houses and every single home has been different. Not only in design, but what was required uh, was different, whether it's the wall assemblies, the windows, the variations of the HVAC, the building lots, the different shading and so forth. Not one house would have worked on uh, the opposite lots. So my point of this video is to say, do your homework. Just because somebody says it's a passive house does not mean that it's actually certified. It also depends on where you live. A certified passive house here in Ottawa where we live is obviously gonna be overkill if you were to take that house and stick it in California. So talk to people in your area and build the right team. Your team needs to understand what's required and everybody needs to work together. The attention to detail is extremely important and it's most important in the parts of your home that will not be seen when it's done, inside your walls. If this has been helpful to you and you want to dig into more topics like this, we are currently working on a new platform called the Conscious Builder Academy. To learn more and stay up to date on the launch of this, head to ConsciousBuilderAcademy.com. Thanks for watching another episode on the Conscious Builder.